As you can see, JT is not here at the moment. Don't worry, he's still very much with us. Right now, he's on his way to Kingsford River two Class D girls basketball regional semifinal games. He will have highlights of both games for you tonight at 11, but playoff basketball can't wait. Postseason play is underway for the high school ranks here in the UP, and three UP college teams will begin their run tomorrow. For a look at all the playoff action in the GLIAC, here's JT. It has been a year to remember for the Northern Michigan University women's basketball team, but they still hope there's plenty of celebrating left to come. The Wildcats are the number two seed in the upcoming GLIAC basketball tournament. NMU will host the number seven seed, Northwood University, tomorrow night at the Barry Event Center. The Cats defeated the T-Wolves in both of their regular season meetings. They're very, very athletic. Uh, they have really, really good guard play. and. They're going to try to score as many points as they can. We've done a really good job so far of keeping them from getting out in transition and also limiting their number of layups that they've been getting. So that, that's going to be our main focus again. They get out on the break a lot. Um, that's how they score a lot of their points off a fast break. So we got to make sure that we get back and stop them and don't let them get any easy shots. We've done a really good job defending them. We held them, I think, to 40 some points when we played at their place just a couple weeks ago. So um, just defending, boxing out, and then just stopping their break. They always say that you want to be playing your best in March, and right now I think we're really getting it together offensively and defensively. So having that kind of momentum going with us, I look forward to these next games. The Wildcats will begin postseason play here at the Barry Event Center, where they have a 12-2 home record against their opponents this season. It's a great feeling just playing at home just because we're comfortable here, you know. Uh, our, a lot of our families can come and support us along with the community. Plus, I think it helps us that we're not just stuck on a bus for however many hours and that's just draining in itself so I think we're going to just get adequate rest and just come out ready to play. We have been playing really well at home on this one streak here and um, it's always great when you have a lot of fans come out. At Tech the other night there was a ton of people here and it's just a lot more fun to play at home. For the most part we've played fairly well at home. We've won a couple of really close games at home and and uh, we, we've done a good job of a lot of things, you know, keeping the game close, giving ourselves an opportunity, and making free throws down the stretch has been really, really big for us. Tip-off between the T-Wolves and Wildcats is set for Wednesday at 7 p.m. In Houghton, Michigan Tech has two playoff games at the SDC Gym. Beginning at 5.30 tomorrow night, Kim Cameron's Lady Huskies, the number three seed in the women's tournament, will take on the number six seed, Saginaw Valley State. The Huskies and Cardinals split their regular season series with each team winning a game on its home floor. You know, the good news is is that we still we still have a chance and you're never out of it with the possibility of being able to to win a GLIAC tournament. Um, you know, it's very helpful, obviously, that we get a chance to be at home, and that's something that I'm proud of the girls for earning throughout the year. After the Lady Huskies and Cardinals battle for a spot in the tourney semifinals, the Michigan Tech men's basketball team, the number four seed in the men's tournament, take on the fifth seeded Grand Valley State Lakers. The Huskies defeated GVSU twice during the regular season. The GLIAC tournament semifinals and finals will be played on Saturday and Sunday. The highest remaining seed in both the men's and women's tournaments will host the semifinal and final games. For ABC 10 and CW5 Sports, I'm Jerry Taylor.